Now, we are in, we are all in. Let me tell you one area where we're all in. I appreciate what you're doing with Friends of Scouting. It is a wonderful program. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to grab on to, the, uh, to this great program and to invite everybody to participate. Let me share with you an experience that happened in Ryrie, Idaho, a little farming town. In Ryrie, Idaho, the Area 70, like Elder Tillman, and by the way, what a great blessing to have these brethren uh, at the head of this program in this valley. It is a great blessing, more than, than you know. The Area 70 met with the stake presidents. There were five. And he said, brethren, we have our Friends of Scouting uh, request from the council, but I think I would like to do it differently. This year, I am not interested in numbers. I'm not interested in making our, our goal or our quota that they've given us, the request. I am only interested in every home being visited and everyone being invited to give. And so I'm going to ask you to prayerfully consider this, and I want you to consider it in your, in your ward councils, and I want you to do it in a way that blesses the lives of every individual and every home in this area. So the stake presidents went back. I know the, the, uh, the story from one stake, the Ryrie stake. The stake president went back and he pulled these bishops together and he said the same thing to them. They then went to their ward councils. One ward council got together and they said, uh, and, and he put it on the table, and, and the uh, young women president said, well, we can help. You know, we've got, we've got uh, people in our young women uh, that have brothers why don't we take some of those families where they have brothers in the program? We'll go and visit them. And, uh, and the Sunday school said, well, we'll take those that are less active. And, and the, uh, the ward missionary said, we'll take some of those that are less active as well. And we'll go to some of the non-members that are in our area. And, and everybody worked together. And the issue was not just to go for an ask. It was to let them know why they were there, that it was time of friends of scouting and uh, that this is what it costs to be able to, to uh, support a young man, and they'd appreciate any donation. But most importantly, it was to get acquainted with every single family in that stake. And then to ask, how can we help and serve you? The stake president wrote when, in the report that I received that not only did they move from $29,000 in that stake up to almost $90,000 in two years. That's a huge jump. But there was never a number given. There was never a number asked for. They had enough, um, enough uh, service projects for all of the organizations to last the whole year. They made their quota. There were some who were reactivated. There were some who were identified that they didn't even know were in their area. And there were some who began listening to the missionary discussions, all because of Friends of Scouting. It was because somebody took this wonderful opportunity where we just do it. We're in. We're all in. And they took it in a way that would bless the lives of those who are in their stake. Now, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve in Scouting. I'm grateful for this assignment. I am grateful for the blessing of being involved in Scouting because I know that it blesses the lives of the young men of the Aaronic Priesthood.